Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Cube Escape Birthday. This is the eighth game in the Cube Escape slash Rusty Lake series. If you haven't been keeping up with the series thus far, there's a playlist in the description that has all the games in the series that I've played up to this point in order. There's only three videos worth because I played multiple games per video. We'll probably play two in this video, Birthday and Theater. And then I'll go into Rusty Lake Roots, which is the next game in succession. Let's go ahead and get started. Rusty Lake, 1972. Oh, this picks up right after Hotel. I feel different. I can't feel my body anymore. I see my memories captured in little cubes. Okay. Thanks, Dale. Don't worry, Dale. We'll get you out of here. Look. Kind of seems like you're already on your way out. Hey, a black cube, 1939. Okay, so my birthday, this is a bad memory. Seems pretty pleasant so far. Look, there's his parents. Hi. Check the mail, darling. That was my birthday. Why don't you check it? How about you? Son, I would like some cake. Well, you know, maybe when it's your birthday, I'll serve you some cake. All right, buddy? One, four, two, five, nine, six. Okay, knowing these games, we probably have to match symbols with the numbers. Typically how that goes. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open my present. Disappointed, to say the least. Not Nintendo like I wanted, like I requested. Okay. So I'm turning nine years old. Dad wants some cake. Mom wants me to check the mail. There's the matches. That's right. Can turn on the water. Neat. Let's just go around and collect items for now. There's nothing in the fridge. That's not good. Um. Hello, Mr. Rabbit? What are you doing here? Kind of odd. Uh, let's see. Screwdriver. Knife. So we got some items so far. Let's see. Oh, oh. Screwdriver for this. Okay, we got a cable. Rusty Lake Theater. I'm sorry, what? Wait. Okay, wait, what? This is like a little puzzle right here. Okay, so do we do, oh, we match them up like Tetris. Okay, this seems, oh no. Oh, that works, I guess. Um, oh, oh, no, 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 wrong one. Okay, I'm not very good at this so far. Uh, I would have put that over there, but you know, um, that's just gonna be the trash heap over to the left, the discard pile, if you will. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the blank ones will count. Oh, they do. So the thing's counting down. I've got to get a certain number of pairs. We're playing very well so far. Gang. Hmm. I wonder what I get at the end of this. Hope it's good. Kind of an easy game though. Oh, oh, oh. Right there. One left. Come on, give me a triple. Ooh, baby, a triple. There we go. Coming soon. Wait, there's a little thing there. The lake. It's a record. Okay. Why does it still say screwdriver? Oh, because I've got it equipped. Hey, Grandpa. Drink. 
I mean, I was planning on it. I don't think I need to be told. Oh, you want a drink. That's what this is. That's what this is all about. I'm gonna have to put a cube here. I don't have one yet. Um, sorry. All that you touch, you change. Is that what it's gonna tell me? Okay, wait, oh, right. Uh, let's cut dad some cake. You need to slice. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Well, let's try to cut it down the middle. Um, like that, and then... Those are pretty healthy pieces. Wait, how come some of them got lit? Oh, this is... you have to cut it a certain way? Okay, that's really ugly. Oh, so those are lit. Uh... What? That's terrible cutting. Ooh, strawberry filling. Oh. Well, Dad, I got... I got you some, uh... Cake. So, there you go, bud. Eat up. I'm sure it's good. What? Is it a key? Oh, it's a needle. What? Who puts a needle in a birthday cake? I know, right? Some people these days. People are strange these days. Uh... Weird rabbit man still looking at me out there. So what have I got? Got a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, check the mail. Right, 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 right. Um... Thanks? Where'd the envelope go? Scoot all the way over here. Dale Vandermeer. And I took the stamp. Swiped that. Dear Dale, congratulations with your ninth birthday. Today will be the darkest day of your life, but the past is never dead. Have a look at your present. It could turn your day around. Yours sincerely, Mr. Owl. So Mr. Owl's been out... He's been out for Dale's blood since day one. Well, not day one. Whatever nine times 365 is. Damn, I didn't know that they had a past. The stamp though, wait. Hang on. Check it out. Look at that. I told you guys we have to match up the symbols. So whatever that symbol is, it's six, I guess. Cool, wow. Did I do that with the needle? We'll take the balloon. Oh, okay, yeah, Grandpa wants a drink. I gotta finish my errands. Ice. Ice? Okay. Well, I hate to tell you this, there's nothing in the freezer, so we gotta fill up something with water, put it in the freezer. Maybe a balloon? I think that would only succeed in making a uh, ice balloon. Huh. <laughs> Uh, never try to make ice this way. I don't think it's gonna work out. Cool, we got ice cubes. Because of course we did. Hey, these are the only type of cubes uh, we've seen that are not supernatural. At least I can assume. Those cubes are not gonna escape Music. that glass. Music. I do have a record, actually. Man, you'd think it was Grandpa's birthday. Oh, let me get this gum off of there. Uh, no needle. Well, I actually I have that too. Let's get some Kevin McLeod up in here. Royalty free. Oh! Grandpa's got the moves! Oh, we were sitting on this, dude. Yeah, good. He likes the music. Let's put this... Right there. Okay, so that's nine. We got two of the symbols so far. What next? Oh, he doesn't want anything else. You want some gum? Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm glad I could help you. Anything you want? He doesn't want anything, so she's the last person that we got. We still- we don't have the needle still. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna scrape this bubble gum off your face. Hope that's cool. Hope that's not intrusive. What? Okay. Can I pick this rose? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, what happened indeed? Oh, oh, they're all dead. Thanks a lot. Mr. Rabbit, I don't feel bad about killing you in hotel now. He's still rocking. Is that battery? Oh. Got a key. The cat survived. Cat doesn't seem to give a crap about what just happened. Oh, this is open. I had no choice. This substance from one of my past lives is my only chance of escaping this state. Forgive me, Mr. Rabbit. Is this the same Mr. Rabbit that went on to become a prestigious mu uh, magician? I almost said musician. I don't know, maybe he, he likes music, who knows? Okay, so the oven's broken. Right, let's um... Let's open... There's a fly. Let's see, we got a kettle. Obviously, we fill it up with water. And then, we probably boil it. Because that tends to be what you do. Oh, uh... Right. What? Gas tube, uh... Well, let's just light it anyway. Okay, so I got the cable and I got the gas tube. So Mr. Rabbit's not out there anymore. He was right there. We can draw! Okay, I guess it's ready. Let me just take this boiling water with my bare hands. I think we gotta catch that fly. What do I have boiling water for? Um... What do I have boiling water for? Okay, stray bullet went into the cabinet. We got a mouse trap. Hmm... Maybe we put the fly on the mouse trap? Not exactly sure. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Put the battery there. We're supposed to power this thing up. The cable. The cable doesn't go here. Cable. Gas tube. Okay. So this is like the main objective. We're trying to build this thing. Um. Did you have anything in your pocket? Do you have anything in your pocket? Ah! He does! Otsa, and that is Rusty Lake Hotel. Dear Dale, congratulations with your ninth birthday, your friend Harvey. There's the two stamps we need. Thanks. Okay, this. Right there. And then this. Right there. Otsa, so 1966 is a code for something that we haven't unlocked yet. That's still boiling. I wonder if like there's a timed element to it. Okay. Hang on. That's what we do. 
Now we just gotta wait for it to go back and land on the same spot, and then it'll get stuck in the gum. Then we can put it in the mouse trap. What do we do with the boiling water? Boiling water. Okay, maybe we put... <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what shape were we supposed to draw there? Oh, I'm pouring the boiling water on the... I'll be honest, I wouldn't have thought to do that. That was an accident. Got another battery, so we're powering this thing up a little bit more. Cool. It's at half power, and now I have nothing except for matches, screwdriver, and knife. Um, 1966 is a code that I have. Maybe it goes to some... Land on it. Land on it. Oh, sucker! Oh, you shouldn't have done that! I'm gonna put you in the mouse trap, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, there you go, buddy. Yeah, don't don't go after it, cat. I think it's supposed to be like a mouse or something that gets caught in it. Do I just what do I do until it's time? Ah, fish. You want the fish? That's right. Give me a key. That's what always happens, isn't it? Oh my god. So, it instantly ate the fish, instantly shat it out, and a key was present. I feel like the timeline of this game is a little bit unbelievable. Globe. Requires a code. It's probably 1966, but let's try something. The secret code that we got from Rusty Lake Hotel. Wait, wasn't it that? 1894. Okay. Hey, it's Harvey. He's a person now. Ah, oh, the corrupted souls are escaping. Fly free, Harvey. Fly free. Okay. So is that just showing, like, the end of, like, what happened after Hotel? So is it... Showing the future? I guess it would make sense, like a crystal ball. Hmm. 1966, that's the actual code. Rusty Lake, 1966. So this is six years prior. Deal with your past, Dale. Only then can you truly become who you are meant to be. Yeah, thanks. What's this? Give me that. Okay, so th this goes into the mysterious device. Okay, we got it somewhat powered up. We got two other things we need to get, though. Two other things. I think I've done it ever uh, everything on this screen. Maybe not. These flags look like they do something. Can we exchange them? Oh, oh, I, I clicked to drag, okay. Um. Okay, yeah, we got, this is what we do. This is the missing piece. Two, four equals one times three. Okay. Well. Uh, 
4 times 3 equals 12. So I'm getting one piece from each set. Uh, huh. Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on here? It's like, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's like one color from the previous one, I think. Goes into yellow, so like... That works, right? Green into red into blue. Oh, it's way more simple than I thought. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. No? One, two, three... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to lead the colors into each other like you do in that one cube escape game with the book bookcase puzzle. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, okay. Bolt. Mm. Does the bolt go in here? No, it does not. Oh, it does. Okay, so I've still got two more things I need to put in here. I mean, I, I don't think the knife or the screwdriver are one of them. Hmm. <laughs> Am I doing it right? It's the same, like, uh, three panes. Okay, so that was right. And that's the piece of glass we need. I saw the shape and I was like, that's it? Because <laughs> I've been looking for something that fits that shape. Okay, now there's just one more thing we need. There's nothing in this box. This substance from one of my past lives is my only chance of escaping the state. Oh my god. Okay. Nito. Thanks for giving me this magic blue cube producing machine for my birthday. What great timing. It's time to go back in time, guys. That's what the blue cube means. Uh... Here we go, put in the clock. If I could turn back time. All right, um, I have to turn back time. I grab Open the chest. Okay, he's got a new clue this time. How's your grandfather doing? Oh, well, I, I just talked to him actually. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, you're unhelpful, aren't you? Open the chest. Well. That's not... Open open the chest. Huh. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, I get this item. Hang on. Got a pistol. Uh... Do we uh, give it? I don't know how to use this thing. Oh, okay. You want it? Maybe your grandfather. Oh, grandfather's gonna save the day. I am ready. Okay, so he's gonna shoot the rabbit. He's gonna Happy shoot Mr. Rabbit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So rude. Interrupting my birthday song. There he is. Why didn't he kill me? What happened? Well, hopefully Mr. Rabbit got shot. How did you know? I went back in time. How did you know? You died. How did you know? What, why isn't mom saying anything? How did you know? She's in shock. What about you, grandpappy? Boom! <laughs> I like Grandpa. He's cool. Boom! <laughs> I like how he's still he's still standing at the ready with that pistol. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, ooh, he didn't kill him. 
There he is. What's going on? Harvey! And there's the black cube. Turned to white. Okay. And we resume our ascent back to the hotel. The end. That was cool. I liked that one. We got a little backstory with Dale. What? Why was Mr. Al messing with him from the tender age of nine? Seems a little early. Maybe there's something special about Dale that we haven't realized yet. All right, well, we're not done. We have one more Cube Escape game left in this video. This is the next game in the series, and we're gonna start it now. Cool, it starts right where birthday ended. The lake is changing my memories. My past isn't what it seems to be. I will let the cubes guide me. You're remaining very calm about this, Dale. But okay, all right. Let's check out another memory. Where's my black cube? There it is. Scintillating commentary. 1971, the theater. Cool. Rusty Lake Theater Program, an introduction by Mr. Owl, the Lady of the Lake, the signs, the fish and the parrot, an intermezzo, by Mr. Crow, Remember the Seasons, and The Mill. Interesting, wait, wait, wait. Remember the Seasons, Lay the Lake, The Mill. I wonder if they're gonna be callbacks to previous games. Okay, well, we'll just hang out here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, got it. So there's gonna be a piano puzzle at some point. Bloody Mary, one vodka, one Tabasco, two blood. I'm not familiar with that recipe. I think that's what we served uh, Mr. Deer in Rusty Lake Hotel. And then here's a circle with symbols on it. Uh, locked. Cool. Here's the theater. Looks like it's not showtime yet. All right. Here's the Shining-esque bar. Give that man a drink. Okay, Grandpa. What do you want? You look like you've seen all sorts of crap. What's this in your pocket? It's her. Dear Bob, as you know, I have not been feeling well for a while now. I will be staying at this lake I told you about. I am sorry this didn't work out. Perhaps we will meet in another life. <laughs> okay, weirdo. So it's that, it's that woman from Seasons. Leave me alone. I just want a drink. Well, what do you want, buddy? Leave me alone. I just want a drink. Okay, well, we'll make you a screwdriver. Two vodka, two orange juice, of course. I've made, I've made a screwdriver before. We'll start with the orange juice and then we'll mix in the vodka. We also got Tabasco here, tonic, gin. So we might make a gin and tonic at some point. And uh, yeah, no, not really sure what that is. There we go. Pour that, got ourselves a screwdriver or we give it to him. Okay, here we go. Here's the piano. Okay, we'll, we'll come to this one when the time call, calls for it. Hey, hey, why don't you drink your sorrows away, buddy? Gonna give me a key or something? Okay, here it goes, key. Screwdriver, actually. Thanks for that. And we took the cocktail glass. Okay, let's check this out. Looks like there's pictures here. Here's a corrupted soul. Trees, fish, Mr. Crow, and her. Okay. Oh, we got a sliding puzzle here. Okay. Okay, so we just gotta... All right, this seems easy enough. Oh my gosh. Easy, give me a challenge, thanks. Okay, this looks like, this is a little more crowded. I think this might be what we're looking for. 
push that up, push that down. Right there. Hmm. Does that move over? There, there. Um. Hmm. There we go. Move that. Move that up. Move that back. Uh. Actually. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Move these down. Move these over. Move that up. Okay, that was I was overcomplicating that one. Gotta do the same thing here. Mm-hmm. Move that down. Move that over. Move these down. Move that back. That back. That. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Not quite what I'm looking for. Move those up, I guess, behind it. And then, uh... Oh, okay, wait. I know what to do. We need that up there. Oh, okay, I got it, I think. Yeah. Got it. Got a plug and a plunger. So the plug goes to this thing. Screwdriver on the plug. Put it in. Cool. That puzzle's recycled from seasons. Hello, Mr. Owl. You look different. Welcome to the theater of your mind. My name is Mr. Owl, and this evening I present to you six plays of six. the past, the present, and the future. It's your time. All right. Thanks, Harvey, for kicking things off. Great presenter. I almost said presentation, but then I said, I was the like, I'm going to say presenter. Hey, it's Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Oh, that's great. Hi. Balance the substance of my past life. Or what? What are you going to do? Okay, we got we got to fetch stuff for her. Can you play the piano? Uh, I can. Let's do it. Dead face. So this is obviously, um, they're referring to keys. I haven't played piano in years. <laughs> Just give me a second. D E A D F A C. E. Oh, okay. I thought I did that the first time, but I guess I did it incorrectly. Hello. What are you doing? That all you got? Not very good at piano. Dead face. Okay, so we got a key. What do you think the key uh, unlocks? Uh, this door was locked earlier. Okay, we opened it up. Check the cabinets. A heart, because of course there is a cocktail glass and we got a plunger, so here we go. Are we gonna find a turd or something? Oh, charming! Great! Perfect! I think we got all the items. Actually, we probably only have three, don't we? Let's see, do we need to make another drink? What do you want, detective? How do you know I'm a detective? What do you want, detective? Okay, uh, what- That man looks like he could use another drink! Okay, so we're gonna make another drink. 
We've already made a screwdriver. Should we make a different drink? Is there another recipe? It's the Bloody Mary, but I don't have blood yet. So... See, I've, I've solved the piano puzzle. I mean... Mm, doesn't quite make it. The hat goes there. Huh, can I use this item here? So, cocktail glass, not for this part. Oh. Hey, Dale, hang on, buddy. We'll, we'll piece you back together. There you go. Wonder why we're moving him off to the side. Oh, he's not quite perfect. There we go. What's going on? What's happening to me? Okay, wait. This gives us a code. Square, target, butterfly. Hmm, other target. <laughs> Reticle, scope. I don't know what to call it. Okay. Mmm, so that goes to this cabinet. Let's see if we even have the right symbols. Yeah, square. Target, butterfly. Skipped over it, I'm like an idiot. I'm an idiot. Shell. Okay, this is the la this is definitely the last one that we needed. Um they don't quite match up, do they? Okay. Let's see. That one goes there. Okay, that looks balanced to me. Oh, I'm a fire in my laser. Flower. And that's the first play. I like this. This is cool. The sign. Okay, we just have to rearrange these. Let's see, this looks like it's over on this side. That looks there. Um let's see, we'll bring up these. Bring them up. Come on. Okay, let's connect those. That's, that's pretty good. And then we bring this over, nice. Where'd the music go? Huh. Oh, oh, this, this goes over here. Uh, and then that's right there. Oh, this is easy. Didn't do it perfectly, but okay. So this, these are a new set of four symbols. So we got Target, all the way through. Target, not all the way through. Cube, lamp post. That's what I'll call them. Okay, so let's get it on. There, cube. And then give me that one. Harvey Wallbanger, two juice, one of that thing, and then one vodka. All right. Hang on, we got we got to make this man a drink. Two juice. Galliano, okay. Vodka. We made it. The Harvey Wallbanger, world famous drink. There you go, bud. Drink up. So I wonder if he's the husband of that woman from Seasons. It would make sense. What are you doing? Well, we got our blood for the Bloody Mary. Anything else? We'll take yeah, we'll take I that don't glass. Remember what happened. Okay. Wait, what's happening here? We got a symbol there now. Oh, we got a symbol there too. Okay. There's gotta be Ah my eye itches. There's gotta be a puzzle involving those symbols. Hmm. The fish and the parrot. 
Okay. Oh, this is what the flower's for. Put it in here. Neat. Oh, the water. Oh, well, we didn't want the water to go into the fish. We want the water to go into the flower. Okay, so it goes there. It goes that way. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah, this should go to the flower, right? What are you going to give us? Seeds? Bird seed. Okay, so we want... Bird seed to feed to Harvey. Let's go backwards. That should be it. Eat up, Harvey. <laughs> Shit out of key, please. Okay. Black egg. Egg goes in the pan. And then... Let's... That, uh... No? Oh, yeah, that is right. Black egg there. Goes in the pan, and we got a worm bait for the fish. So, this is actually, nope. Hmm. Oh, there we go. This way. And then, yeah. Give the worm bait. Time, time to die and have a key in your stomach or something. Come on. That's it. That's the whole play. Did I not get the item I needed for the next one, or? An intermezzo by Mr. Croft. One. Two. Three. It's like the monkey puzzle from, uh... Which one was that? Case 23? I can't remember, honestly. Okay. Three. One. Mr. Crow, your play is easy. Get it together. Uh huh. Oh, he's looking. Just pathetic, Mr. Crow. Honestly, I was expecting more. Remember the seasons. Remember the seasons. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh. Duh. Okay, so tree was right behind her, and then the moon is in the upper right. Let's try to recreate it. This is a lot like recreating Mrs. Peacock's photographs, right? Uh, look right. Oh, but where is it on her person? The I window. I don't remember what happened. I didn't, I'm not asking you that. Okay, so it comes right up to her wrists, basically. So, Maybe up a little bit. There we go. We got it. Oh, these are just freewheeling. Okay. We need help with this puzzle. You got a hint? That man looks like he could use another drink. This is where we make the Blade Mary. All right. I understand. Oh, yeah. And we got more symbols. The more plays we complete, the more symbols we acquire. So that's the Harvey Wallbanger. We don't want that. Bloody Mary. Vodka, Tabasco, and two blood. Vodka, Tabasco, and then one, two. Okay, hang on. There we go. Pour it. Made a Bloody Mary. And uh, this, this ought to do it for you, I think, Buster. 
We got a screwdriver, a Harvey Wallbanger, and a Bloody Mary. What? Don't do it. Great. Let's go inside your head. Because we know this is what was going to happen. White cube. Uh, okay. So we're going to go back into his brain with a code later. Okay, but there was a fork in the road. Ooh, there she is. He's thinking about her. So, there are four cubes though. Mm. Ah! Or like there are four, you know, digits in the door. Whatever, I can't think right now. I'm wondering if the cubes go to the frames. They do. Okay, so we're supposed to match these up. Seems pretty basic. And they do a little satisfying click thing. This is that. Okay, well, what about this one? I have no idea. I, is there a fifth cube in his little tiny brain? Two. Two what? Oh, oh, you can scrub it. Two, okay, so this is the code for the door inside that guy's head. Great. Two for the little flourished thing. Um, plus is eight, so two, eight, uh, and then seven, right, seven, two, eight, seven, two, eight, and then heart is five, seven, two, eight, and five, and then we don't know what this one goes to. I guess we're going to find the final cube in this door right here. Okay, so this was two, this was five, this was eight, this was seven. Oh, it's a black cube. Oh. Okay. So we finally found a bad memory. Wait, we, hmm. But we, ex so we basically just extracted a black cube from him. So is he gonna turn into a corrupted soul? That seems to be what happened. Oh. He has a bad memory associated with her face? No, not that one, you idiot. Uh. Did he kill her? The mill. The mill. Are you ready for the final play? Yeah. His memories belong to the lake now. Extracting them caused a corrupted soul. One of the six stages of the weave. The mill. Oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. These symbols match the ones on the windmill blades. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, we saw him in the police station in case 23. Yeah, he's a corrupted soul for sure. And he needs some privacy. To poo, I get it. This might be for the windmill, so we got... So wait, we got crow. Wait, so that's red. Um, red for corrupted soul. Pink for crow, blue for fish, 
Orange for forest. White for her. Green for whatever this is. Or yellow green. It doesn't matter. Okay, so wait. So we got yellow on the top. We got yellow, pink, red. Um. So it's... Hang on. It's this. No, no, no. Um, so just by trial and error, we get that. Your mind is reaching a higher state of consciousness. You are learning about your past and your future. Not learn much, to be honest. What you may become. Now. Continue your journey. Okay. Um. What do you have to say? Nothing! Mr. Crow doesn't have anything to say! It's locked. What do I... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, the elevator! Okay. Let's go then. Oh, bye bye. Woo. To be continued. No, that can't be it. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that was Cube Escape Birthday and Theater. So, actually, next on our to do list isn't a Cube Escape game at all, it's Rusty Lake Roots is the next one that I'm supposed to play. So, whenever I upload the next video in the series, it's gonna be Rusty Lake Roots. It's probably gonna take me a while to make because I think that game is a couple hours. It's longer than Rusty Lake Hotel from what I understand. I already have it downloaded and ready to go, but that's the next one I'm gonna play. And then Cube Escape the Cave, and then Rusty Lake Paradise. So just a couple thoughts before I leave. So, I was recommended that I play, um, you know, Case 23 and The Mill, um, after Hotel. And so that's the order that I put them in the playlist, even though I played Hotel first, like, overall. But, after playing Birthday in Theater, I gotta say, I think the order that you should view or play these games... And I can't rearrange my playlist to do this because in my Case 23 in the Mill video, I reference what happens in Hotel several times. So it's just going to have to be this way. But I think I would do the first four games, the first four Cube Escape games, then Case 23 and the Mill, then Rusty Lake Hotel, then Cube Escape Birthday, Cube Escape Theater. That's the order I would personally recommend them to be played and viewed. I'm not really sure why I was recommended to play Case 23 and The Mill after Hotel. It seems to me like Case 23 and The Mill perfectly set up Hotel and then Birthday and Theater kind of, I mean, they take place right after Hotel. It only makes sense to play them right after Hotel, sequentially. And I didn't realize that until I played these, but it seems like that's the intended order. So whatever, my playlist will be slightly out of order. Kind of irks me, but. Yeah, uh, these are good games. You can tell the progression of the series in terms of how it looks and feels. It feels a lot smoother in these later Cube Escape games than it did in Seasons in the Lake. Uh, much more polished. They are recycling puzzles, but the story is kind of connecting. And it, I, don't, I don't really so much mind the recycled puzzles because it, it kind of plays into the interconnectedness of everything within this world that they've created, which, what is this world? What is Rusty Lake? His memories belong to the lake now. All that you touch, you change. There will be blood. The past isn't past, or like, it's not even past. I can't remember, I can never remember that quote. A lot of recycled quotes make me think that this is a place beyond time and space. 
sort of a, a limbo purgatory like realm if you will and I think that what we're dealing with here like presences like Mr. Owl and Mr. Crow seem to be spirits of the lake if you will it, it it's been visualized more than once Mr. Crow as the boatman makes me think of uh, Charon, the um, the boatman of the underworld, if you will. And then it would seem that Mr. Owl is intended to be uh, the overlord of the underworld, or you know, I guess Hades would be a good. Uh, metaphor an analogy whatever you get what I'm trying to say and so I think Dale is dead and whoever that lady is she's dead and so is Bob and when they when they lose their their memories right when their memories get taken from them they become corrupted souls they become not themselves anymore and somehow Dale's avoided that I think I think but he might be on his way I mean, he's talking about how the lake has his memories now. How long until he becomes a corrupted soul himself? But what I'm not really clear on is, I guess, the overarching goals and uh, priorities of Mr. Owl. Seems like he, I mean, at the top of Rusty Lake Hotel, he was sipping wine and, thanks for the cigar box, look at all these cubes I've accumulated. And it's, it's unclear exactly what the purpose is. Maybe we'll find out in future games. Or maybe we'll, we'll never have that answered for us. And it's just up to us to interpret for ourselves. I think that's interesting as well. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this series a lot, actually. It's, it's far more than just simple uh, flash puzzle games. You know, escape the room type of stuff. You can play them like that. But... I think it's more enriching to play it with the overall story in mind. So, I'm glad I decided to play these, and I'll see you guys in the next Cube Escape slash Rusty Lake video. Think critically. <laughs>